Hi guys, it's Angie and I am just now leaving work and I wanted to just get on here to say hi. I feel like I haven't talked to you guys for a while or you know or except in short little snippets and I was gonna wait wait until I got home and then just do you know sorry speed bump like a regular vlog and show you my projects and stuff but as the day has gone on today I kind of just when I get home I really just want to make a tea and kind of just sit and decompress <laughs> you ever have like you know a couple of weeks in a row where it just feels like there's always something going on and then eventually it kind of just wears you out a little bit. I'm kind of feeling like that today. And it's kind of weird because part of what I'm wore out from should have been relaxing. But, you know, I had the week where I had a whole bunch of doctor visits and was dealing with was gonna have a surgery then they rescheduled the surgery and you know just all of the stuff that goes along with that and then um, you know a good thing that happened was I got to go see a concert for the first time in I can't even tell you the last time I saw a concert I probably was in my 20s maybe having to get over so <laughs> they're doing some construction so they had some parts blocked that aren't normally blocked right there but anyway my best friend Charlotte she her daughter she loves Taylor Swift and her daughters for Mother's Day I'm sorry I have to put some sunglasses on her daughters for Mother's Day bought her Taylor Swift concert tickets and they wanted her to take me because they know that we're best friends and you know we do a lot together and everything and truthfully I was not a Taylor Swift fan I'm not against Taylor Swift it's just that I've never really been into her music or anything and mainly it's because you know most of the time if I'm listening to the radio it's satellite radio and I'm listening to like 70s and 80s music so I just never was I knew some of her songs but I just wasn't really familiar with it so so that I could get used to her music I did go and buy three CDs I got them from Amazon her newest one and then I think the two prior to that one and then I ended up really liking her music and since this tour was the 1989 tour which is the year she was born which makes me feel so totally old that's the year after I graduated high school but so I got myself familiar with her music and then I listened to the CD that 1989 the most because that's what her tour was and you know sure enough that's what almost all of the songs were I think she did one maybe two that that were from older CDs but anyway I ended up loving that concert it was so neat and she she's so nice and she sang really well live she put on a really good show one thing that was really cool and I'll have to show you guys when when I go to show you my projects I'll show you the bracelet too but when you first get in there on all the seats they had like these bracelets masking taped to all of the seats and then what ended up happening was there was a screen that would kind of just show little snippets of just different interesting tidbits and videos and stuff about Taylor Swift and on there it would say put the bracelet on and take out the little battery protector thing and then um, wait till the concert starts so the bracelet didn't do anything until the concert started and then once it started it lit up in a rainbow of colors you know just depending on what was going on during 
the song that was going on. I'm sorry for all the bumps. I'm trying to hold this thing a little bit steadier when we go over really bumpy areas. But anyway, so if, like there was a part where it was like raining and so all the lights were like lighting up blue or maybe it was, um, there was a part with fire and they were red, but it was like red, blue, purple, white, pink, I mean all the green, all different colors. And it was really neat because it was synchronized throughout the audience. So 13,000 people all with those bracelets on. It was really, really neat. And then after the concert was over, now the bracelet works just if you touch it. If you bump it, it lights up different colors. It's really it was a cool concept. And just the concert in and of itself was really, it was so cool. I had a really, really good time. And I was very thankful that she took me to it. And you know, going from somebody that wasn't a fan, now am a fan. You know, I still enjoy listening to those CDs and I've memorized the songs and everything, but so it's pretty cool that I got introduced to an artist that I wasn't really a lot familiar with. I was somewhat familiar. I mean, I think you have to have lived under a rock not to be, you know, but I learned a lot more about her and really she's a, a, a amazing person, you know, just with her charity work and just everything she does and it, it was a really great experience. So, but, you know, I'm not as young as I used to be. <laughs> and being out late, and, you know, I worked all day that day, then went to the concert. Then the next day, I actually had taken the day off, so I slept in a little bit, but then Charlotte and I, Charlotte's my best friend, we went shopping. And so we met up again and went shopping all day. Then I went to work on Thursday. And then my husband and I took a weekend trip trip a weekend trip to the Ozarks we stayed at the same place that we go for our family vacation we just get one of the smaller cabins and so I had Friday off and so we drove down there Friday which is around a three-hour drive a um, little less than three hours and so we were there Friday and Saturday and we came back Sunday so you know the the drive and everything but and we did relax some but we also did a little bit of shopping and you know just we did a lot of walking and one of the things we did was we like to feed the squirrels and the birds at our house and so we always put out you know like that corn that you can buy we put that out like in the little cobs for the squirrels and then we also put out the black sunflower seeds because we get a lot of cardinals and cardinals love that black seed. It's healthier for them also. And I have an idiot, like, teenage driver. Not that all teenagers are idiot drivers, but this one is. It's like, they, I must not be going fast enough for them, but it's like, if they would pay attention, they would see there's a car in front of me. But anyway, so we get this, the, you know, the seed and everything. Well, down there they have a lot of trees that drop acorns. So we thought, oh, you know, we'll, we'll gather a bunch of acorns for our city squirrels. And so we spent a good long time gathering acorns off the ground. I bet we got five pounds of them. You know, we, we had gone to Panera for lunch and then so we had like water cups and then we kept filling the cups and then pouring them into Walmart sacks. So while that ended up being a lovely, wonderful nature walk, I paid for it and I am still paying for it the next day I couldn't I almost couldn't get out of bed my back hurt so bad it was like trying to get my legs out of the bed and then I was sitting there telling my husband because his back didn't bother him it was just me and I was like what in the world is wrong with my back and then finally it clicked you know it was from all the that acorn gathering the bending down and everything and so and then so last night this was Saturday we gathered the acorns and then Sunday was when we drove home so you know sitting for all that time in the car because we drove non-stop then it was really really hurting me yesterday and last night so we already had plans to watch the lunar eclipse which actually turned out beautiful here 
in the part, my part of Missouri was a cloudless night. So we saw it really, really good. Unfortunately, I couldn't get any good pictures. Um, but, you know, tons of people have gotten pictures. You know what it looks like, you know, from looking at the pictures. But anyway, we sat in the hot tub and watched the lunar eclipse. And so the hot tub helped my back feel better right then. But then this morning, oh, it hurt again. And then sitting at work, and I kept trying to get up and walk around a little bit. But I am so stiff. But, you know, watching the squirrels yesterday, we had three of them that were, like, sneaking up on the acorns and taking them and burying them and everything. It, watching them was an enjoyment, so it was worth it. But, man, I, I feel... I don't know. I feel like I'm in my 40s. Makes me sad. It's like, I used to be able to do stuff like that, you know, with no problems at all. And you'd think with all the walking I do and everything that, I don't know, I, I guess just all that bending. That was just, that was crazy. So, you know, I had the all the doctor appointments, then I had the concert, and then we went out on our trip. And then it was back to work today, so it just seems like I've had, it feels like there was something else in there too. It just feels like I'm kind of out of my normal routine, and so I'm just really tired. You wouldn't think I would be, just from having, you know, a pretty relaxing weekend, not having to worry about work or chores or, or anything, but I don't know trying to think but I do I have a few projects that I did finish like I've got a scarf and a hat and I did end up turning I was make I was making a scarf that was going to be my Halloween scarf and I did turn him into a Halloween snake so I'll end up showing you guys all that just not with this vlog I'm doing this on the YouTube capture and then I'll upload it but then um, there's something just really sad that's kind of been weighing on me you know not I don't want to seem selfish like oh I'm I feel sad about it because it's obviously the family that's going through everything I just keep thinking about this person but there's this lady I used to work with at the bank when everybody got laid off you know she was one of the ones that got laid off super super nice lady her name is Sheila and she's only 55 years old and she's dying right now and it you know how you wonder why do bad things happen to good people and there's a book that's titled that that's a very good book by the way um, but she got diagnosed with kidney cancer in April by the time she found out she had it she had a tumor the size of a football and it has already had already spread to her lungs and her liver but not her bones yet so they were thinking that hopefully that she could have surgery and they could take the tumor and the kidney out and you know maybe treat it but then when she got in there for the surgery they because of the location of it and they noticed it had spread more than what they thought they couldn't really do anything they basically you know just were well we'll treat you for the pain and left it at that and I don't know if you guys have heard of cancer treatment treatment centers of America but that's like a place that you can go that does like alternative treatments and and other things and and so she did end up going to the one in Tulsa Oklahoma which was an amazing place you know they did a lot for the people they pick you up in a limo you know they made her feel really special and and good and they did help her you know learn some ways to to deal with the pain and things like that but basically it was the same thing with them they're really you you know her cancer was just too far gone to really do anything for and she's somebody that since 2007 has gone on annual mission trips to places like Nicaragua or just you know she goes with her church and she 
you know, she takes her vacation time and she raises money to go on these trips. And, you know, I remember at the bank, we used to do bake sales and just all kinds of different things to help her raise money. And she's just a, an amazing woman, an awesome person. She has a son who's not even 18 yet. He's, I think he's 17, so he's still in high school. And she has a husband. She has an older daughter. She has two little grandkids. And, you know, she just, she doesn't deserve this. And, you know, throughout all of it, she, you know, a lot of the people from the bank I've remained friends with on Facebook, and sometimes we get together and do stuff. I've told you guys that before. Well, Sheila's kept in contact with everybody through Facebook. She's always remained positive, you know. She's been like, you know, when she realized that there wasn't really anything they could do, she's just been preparing herself to meet God. And I don't know, she's, well, anyway, they now she can no longer post on Facebook. She's in hospice. She's to the point where she's, she's dying and any moment now you know she's gonna meet her maker and she's at peace with it her family's at peace with it I should be at peace with it because she is but I just keep thinking about her and her family and her young son and I don't know it just it's weighing on me a little bit you know not like I'm her family because I can't even imagine you know what I mean I feel like I'm selfish if I say I'm it's weighing on me how dare it weigh on me you know it's not me that's going through it or it's not my family member but I'm just thinking about her a lot I've been saying a lot of prayers for her and I looked up kidney cancer because I thought how in the world can you have a tumor so big and and you not have symptoms because she didn't go to the doctor she'll till she started having some pain and symptoms well what I read from it talked about your kidneys are so deep in your body a tumor can get very large before you actually realize anything's going on because in the early stages of it it doesn't have a lot of symptoms even in the late stages there aren't a ton of symptoms you know you might have some blood in your urine you might feel tired you might run a fever you know just things that you may not think oh I've got kidney cancer you know it's just she doesn't deserve this I, I mean you could say nobody deserves it, but you know there are people that do. <laughs> you know, horrible, evil, criminal people. You know, they're the ones who should be going through stuff like this. Not a beautiful woman like Sheila, who has done so much for people not only here, but all around the world. So anyway, I won't keep talking about that because I don't... I don't know. I don't want to seem like I'm depressed or whatever. I'm not depressed. I'm just, I'm sad about it. I'm happy that she's at peace with it, but I, I, I don't know. She's a better person than I, because I don't think I would be at peace with it <laughs> if it were me. And that makes, you know, it was like this morning, I was like, oh God, it's Monday. You know, and I was sitting there hemming and hawing and moping about it being Monday. And then I thought, you know what? At least I have a Monday. You know, I can get up every day. I can spend time with my wonderful kids and my husband and I can go to concerts and I can go on trips and you know her and her husband over the last couple of months have done a lot of that you know she's always wanted to see Route 66 so they took a trip down parts of um, Route 66 and you know they've been going out to eat a lot just things you know to try to make her happy and spend a lot of family time together and stuff and but you know it was just April that she found out and she she's going to pass either in September or October if you know if she holds on till October and it's just crazy how f quick that happened I don't know well let me change the subject um, Periscope I love watching people on Periscope but I've been missing a few videos because they go away in 24 hours. There for a while I was catching a few because they were at times, you know, I was catching some live because that week that I had a couple of days off work and then on Fridays I work from home. So a lot of times if somebody's broadcasting on a Friday and I don't have a meeting or something, I'll listen to the broadcast. But then sometimes, you know, it'll be during a meeting or whatever. And then I try to watch the replays 
but they go away, you know, like I just said, <laughs> after 24 hours and being out of town and for a little bit, I, I miss some of them. But I still don't know if I'm going to do myself, if I'm going to do Periscope or not. I don't know if anybody would even watch. I'm not, I don't know, I don't feel like I really have much interesting things to say. Or I would just be copying, you know, because I don't know. What, what would I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just rambling a lot. Sitting at a light right now. on my way home you know what the crazy thing is is after spending that you know three days just my husband and I by ourselves 24 7 pretty much today I miss him it's it's kind of crazy it's like it's not that I don't see him every day because I do but you know how just work and life and just everything kind of you just go through your normal routine and then you go to bed and you get up and you do it all over again. But when we had that time away, it was just the two of us and, you know, going on our little dates together and out to eat together. And we've been together for a really long time. We've been together since 1987. And just, I don't know, I felt like we reconnected. And I just really missed him today. I sent him a text to let him know I missed him. Because then tonight, I probably won't see him much because if he comes home before he goes out to... My husband's a big Kansas City Chiefs football fan, and the Chiefs play tonight. And he gets together with his buddies to watch the game because I'm not a huge football fan. I probably will have the game on in the background, but I will probably be watching YouTube or, you know, something else. I'm contemplating getting Netflix because some of you guys watch some TV shows that I haven't watched before and they're available on Netflix but not on Amazon Prime. Although, I think Amazon Prime and Netflix have, Netflix have a lot of the same stuff. So I'm just trying to decide if I want to spend that monthly payment to get Netflix. Because some of the shows sound really interesting and I'd kind of like to watch them mostly on Amazon Prime I'm usually watching movies which reminds me I found a couple of if you like scary movies I found one called Splinter you know like a splinter that you get from wood that was really pretty good and then one called Babadook which when I first saw it I thought it was Babadook but after watching because it's B-A-B-A-D-O-O-K and then I watched the movie and they call it a Baba Duck. So, and it's an Australian movie and it was really good. I don't remember if I said that to you guys or not. Or if I just posted on Instagram that I was getting ready to watch it. But I liked it and I actually paid for that one. I rented it and I felt like it was a good, good um, use of my money. At first, there's a little boy in that movie that at first, I swear, I wanted the monster to come eat him. He just annoyed the hell out of me. And I was like, okay, I hope that monster just bites his face off, you know? <laughs> but he, I, as the movie goes on, you understand why he's the way he is. And then by the time the movie was over, I, you know, I, li I was fine with him. But at first it took, it took a little bit for me to get used to that kid, but it didn't take long and the movie was well worth it and I would actually even watch it again it was really good it's not one of those that I would want to own but it still was a good movie and if you like scary movies I would recommend it and Splinter was just a different kind of movie I had never seen anything like it before of course Babadook was like that too I had never seen anything like it before and both of them are good movies but because like I, you guys know I've said a a lot of times I love scary movies. I'll even rewatch ones that I've seen before because I always I like to try to look for different things that I didn't notice the first time. Sinister was like that. I watched that one again recently and was watching for things that I had missed. 
but I don't know. Netflix sent me another, I used to do Netflix, and so every once in a while they'll send me an email, you know, try it for a month for free. And so I think I might do that month trial again and see how much duplication is across Netflix and Amazon Prime because I want to make it worth the money. You know, I don't want to I don't want to have two things that have almost exactly the same thing. Do any of you have both? And that and that I had remember asking you guys before if anybody had the Amazon Echo and I appreciate the people that said they did. One person in particular, I can't remember the name of while <laughs> right now, but actually gave me a little bit of detail that said that they really, really liked it. And I've done some more research on it, and I think I am going to buy one with, with at, when my birthday rolls around next month with birthday money, because I think I would like it. It's the, the thing that's like a speaker and you can play music but then it also does a lot of other stuff and it I kind of just lost my train of thought oh I actually I haven't read it yet but I actually downloaded like a Amazon Echo like book to my Kindle but I haven't read it yet it was like $2.99 and it's supposed to tell you all about it and how to use it and everything and I figured I would get used to it and it's supposed to show you a lot of the features that people don't realize that it has. But I think I had told you before, you can play a lot of music through it, even to the point where you can tell it to play a specific artist or a specific genre of music, or you can ask it questions because it's hooked to like um, Wikipedia and different things like that. It can tell you the weather, it can tell you the news. Um, if you are so inclined you can buy extra things where you can control your lights and stuff with it which I don't think I'm gonna do that I mean I can turn my own lights on on and off but um, several people do that that have like um, you know maybe they are not have as good a mobility where they can where maybe they can't turn their lights on and off like their lamps and stuff so it works really great for that or maybe it's something that's got a light switch that's up really high you know it definitely has its uses I just can't think of where I would use it that part and then you have to buy those like outlet things separately but I do think I'm going to do that. First I was going to get a custom pair of Converse, but then I thought, you know, I have a lot of Converse. I don't need to make a custom pair. I have plenty. So, and I think the Amazon Echo my whole family could get use out of. I've showed the videos and stuff to my kids and they're kind of like, meh, you know, but I think once we had it, I think that they would like it. So we'll see. Even if I'm the only one that uses it, I think that I'll like it. And I heard through reading about, um, like message boards and stuff about it that it's supposed to hopefully eventually have a feature where you can change its name. Because right now you can either call it Amazon or Alexa. It's the only two names. Because that's its trigger to listen to you. You know, you would say like, Alexa, add eggs to my grocery list, something like that. That's how it knows you're talking to it. And a lot of people have said they wanted to name it something else. And then I always wondered, what if somebody in your house is named Alexa? You know, I guess then you'd say Amazon. Because who would ever name their kid Amazon? <laughs> who knows? They name kids some weird stuff. But I think I'm going to... I'll have to show you guys my new coffee cup. I'll have to take a picture of it and show it on Instagram. Because we went into Harry and David and they had the neatest like Halloween coffee cup. I do not need a coffee cup, but you know what? We buy a lot of stuff we don't need, right? Just because we like it and we deserve it. But I'm gonna, I'm down to the last bit of my candy corn tea. At least, I, I think I got actually more than one sample of it, but out of the particular tin I'm drinking out of, I think I'm down to like the last, either last cup or last two cups, but I really like that tea from Adagio, but I think I'm going to go home, have a cup of tea, I might put a heating pad on my back, I don't know, it's like, 
Advil seems to cut the pain down a little bit, but not all the way. I haven't had my back hurt this bad in a long time. I feel like a little old lady, like creaking and popping and oh man, just trying to get up out of a chair, trying to get out of the car. I tell you, I'm not even 45 yet. I'm not 45 until October 21st, and I'm not going to be 45 until that day, I'm telling you. But it's so funny. My husband and I were talking about all our aches and pains. He has, he calls it his Bernie leg, because if he walks a lot or stands a lot, he gets this part on his leg that just burns, and then when he sits down, it'll relieve it. And he's seen the doctor about it. The doctor said it's, he seems to think it's nerve related. And then I have a hip that has some arthritis in it that some, it doesn't bother me all the time, but if I, like that concert, we stood almost the whole time and my hip was throbbing by the end of the, of that concert. And so I have my hurdy hip is what we call it, my hurdy hip and his burny leg. So. Here we are with hurdy lip and burny, hurdy hip and burny leg, and now I got hurdy back. So, I don't know. We were teasing each other about our little aches and pains and what in the world are we gonna be like, you know, as we get older. Because both of us are, you know, fairly active in, in walking. You know, we both walk a lot of steps a day for exercise. We don't do like lifting weights and stuff, but we do a lot of walking, so it's not like we're completely sedentary. And you, and but I guess once you hit a certain age, it doesn't matter. You're gonna have those aches and pains. But I tell you, I was feeling every bit of my age. I don't even feel old. Sometimes I don't. Well, I'm not old. You know what I mean. 44, 45. That's not old at all. But you, you get where I'm going. It's just. I don't know. I Sometimes I feel like I'm still in my 20s and then I look in the mirror and I'm like, who's that stranger looking back at me? But anyway, I just wanted to get on here and say hi. And just tell you what's been going on. Kind of miss talking to you guys. I know that I, I, YouTube says I had some a video up like a week ago, but I think it's been a little bit longer than a week. So, and I promise the next vlog I won't do a car vlog. I just felt really lazy today and didn't feel like, as if it takes a long time, I didn't feel like setting the camera up. And because all my projects and everything I want to show you guys is right there. I always, I have like a chair in the, in the kitchen that I put everything in until I film and then I put it all up or do whatever I'm going to do with it. And I am still working on the Etsy shop. I haven't been able to do much on it. So that'll be up soon, I hope. But I'm not in a hurry. But anyway, I guess I'll let you go. I just wanted to say hi. I think I've said that a million times now. But I hope you all have a really, really good week. And I'll talk to you next time.